Welcome everyone to Caleb Watches Movies, the channel where I, Caleb, randomly select one of the many movies that I own and I watch and review them for you. But today, what a surprise I received. I don't know what it is with me and Marvel and why they love me so much, but last year on my birthday, they released the full length Avengers Infinity War trailer. And this year, again, almost on the exact same day as my birthday, they released the official full length trailer for Avengers Endgame. What a surprise, I just brought up YouTube and all of a sudden, there are these new trailers. So this is my first time watching it. I have absolutely no idea what I'm expecting. With what happened at the end of Infinity War and what we got with the little teaser trailer for Endgame, I have absolutely no idea where they are going with this. Some predictions, Captain Marvel just came out last week, so they're probably gonna feature her a little bit more. Hopefully we'll get a little bit more of Hawkeye, seeing how he wasn't even in Infinity War. And maybe we'll get some explanation as to what the whole scene with Ant-Man was. But I'm gonna stop talking, let's get into it. First time viewing Avengers. Avengers Endgame Trailer 2. Okay, that's the beginning of uh, a thousand years ago. Iron Man. Yep. I fought my way out of that cave. Became Iron Man. Uh huh. Realized I loved you. Whole Pepper Potts thing again. I know I said no more surprises, but I was really hoping to pull off one last one. The world has changed. Dude, a whole bunch of flashbacks. None of us can go back. All we can do is our best. There he is. And sometimes the best that we can do. He lost his whole family. Over. I love all the black and white to this. All these people die. It's your fault. I keep telling everybody they should move on. This is so Some epic. Do, but not us. Even if there's a small chance, we owe this to everyone who's not in this room to try. What are they doing? We will. Whatever it takes. <laughs> yeah. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. There are the spacesuits. They are so good at doing these trailers. I love that score. There she is. I like this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Um, Marvel has this amazing ability and they and they know what they're doing to show you so little but yet show you so much and tell you so much. They are keeping a lot of this film and a lot of this plot a secret. Instead of including so many spoilers and spoiling so many different moments, they are hiding so much. They really want you to believe that this is the culmination of the last 11 years. With all the black and white flashbacks to Iron Man, the original Thor, the first Avenger, and then with some nice narration over top, I, I absolutely love that. And I love the use of Hawkeye here. We got a lot more viewing of Hawkeye or Ronan. Maybe that's what he's going by now. I don't know, whatever. I'm just glad to see him back. I am one of the few that really likes Hawkeye and thinks that he's a valuable member of the team. We finally got our first glimpses of the spacesuits, which we are seeing leaked all over the internet with toys and Legos and things like that. The subtitle of this film is Endgame, and you get a major sense of that. This is going to be the end for a couple of people, I think. Fortunately, my vote is for Captain America, even though he is my favorite of the team. What I am hoping for, because I think there's gonna be some kind of time travel with this film. What I am predicting is that Captain America, he's one of the couple that sacrifices himself, but somehow gets to like relive a kind of paradise in his mind to where we will see him actually have his dance with Peggy Carter. I don't know how they're gonna pull that off, but I feel like that's the ending scene that we're gonna get because that is the 
perfect bow, the perfect ending to his story. Guys, I am 100% pumped for this film. I hear it's going to be three hours, and in my opinion, that's three hours too short. I want this story to keep on going. I want to see these characters continue so much, even though I know some of them are going to end here. Because the title's Endgame. How can you not? But thanks everyone for watching my reaction. What did you think of the trailer? And if you have any predictions of who's not going to make it out of Endgame, please leave your comments below and let me know what you think. And please stay tuned in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to be releasing my ranking of all of the MCU films, all 21 of them, leading up, of course, to Avengers Endgame. And that list is not going to be controversial at all. So thank you everyone so much for watching this video. If you like what you saw, please hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year, so if you like what you see and if you have friends that really like trailer reactions or just people talking about movies send them over to Caleb Watches Movies and hit that subscribe button. So everyone I will see you in April with the release of Avengers Endgame. In the meantime be well, be good to each other, and go watch a movie. Take care guys.